In the last video, I told you that there is a way to check if both pins are connected to ground by only using one if control structure. And this is how it looks like. If not button state 3 and not button state 4. If both button state 3 and button state 4 are low, then the content of the curly braces is executed. If one of them is high, it is not executed. And if both of them are high, it is not executed. So you can check if both conditions are true by using this two ampersands. You can use two vertical bars to check if at least one of the conditions is true. So this is an OR operation. Here I check if not button state three or not button state four. So if both are low, then the content is executed. If one of them is low, then the content is also executed. But if both of them are high, it is not executed. Now here is another example where I check if button state 3 is low and button state 4 is high. So if button state 3 is low and button state 4 is low, the content in this case is not executed. If button state 3 is low and button state 4 is high, it is executed. And in all other cases, it's not executed. Now, if I want to, I can go wild on these things and add as much conditions as I want. In this case, I have three conditions and I added round brackets around two of them because otherwise there is a special rule which is AND before OR. But by using these round brackets surrounding the OR, I force it to be OR before AND. If button 3 and button 4 are low, that's great for the first part, but we always need button state 5 to be high. Otherwise, it will not be executed. So it will not be executed in this case. And in this case, we have button state 3 is low, button state 4 is low, button state 5 is high. The content will be executed. In this case, we have button state 3 low, button state 4 high. So the first part is true, but button state 5 is low, which means the content is not executed. But if button state 5 is also high, then the content will be executed. If button state 4 is low and button state 5 is low, it will not be executed because button state 5 is not high. But if button state 4 is low and button state 5 is high, it will be executed. In this case, nothing is true, so it will not be executed. And if everything is high, it will also not be executed because we need at least button state three or button state four to be low. So before I completely confuse you, let's see how it works in practice. I would like to check if both pin three and pin four are connected to ground and send me a serial message. So, I will define pin three as input pull up and I will also define pin four as input pull up. I would like to have a serial connection with the speed of 9600 baud and to really streamline things I will use boolean operators without variables. So I will ask if digital read free and digital read for then serial.println both pins are connected to ground. But right now I'm checking if they are high. So we need to add the exclamation mark in order to check if it's low and if this is also low. And let's add a delay of 1000 milliseconds. Let's upload and switch to serial monitor. So right now no cables are connected and I see no message. But as soon as I connect both cables to my USB connector, which is ground, I will get this message, both pins are connected to ground. So here comes your exercise. If pin three or pin four or pin five 
is connected to ground, I want you to turn on the onboard LED of Arduino. If not, then I would like you to turn it off. Stop the video and solve the exercise right now. I don't need zero begin anymore, but I need another pin mode, pin five, as input pull up. And what I want is to check if either of these are connected to ground. So if not digital read free or, and the or is two vertical bars, or not digital read four, or not digital read pin five. I don't want to send a serial message. I want to turn on the LED. So pin 13, which is the onboard LED, should be an output. I will digital write pin 13 high. And if no cable is connected to ground, I can use else. Digital write 13 low. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe to this channel if you're ready to dive deep into the world of Arduino. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions or found a different solution to the exercise. Thank you for watching. See you next time.